totally different situation. Why is that? Well, it was the betrayal aspect. Was it? This is your homeboy. Was it? Yeah, to me. Yeah, this this was your homeboy that allowed you to come around him no matter what, especially the fact that you had a bad jacket and he didn't just, oh yeah, you know, oh no doubt, homie, yeah, slide back through later on, we gonna holler at you and, you know, he could have did that easily. And what, like set him up to get fucked up basically? Set him up to get knocked off, fucked up, whatever he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? You were able to get up on him so he never saw you as a threat. This this my, true. this my homeboy, but he got some shit to clean up. He dope, whatever, I heard him rap, whatever, I like his style, he a gunner, whatever, but homie, homie's just saying this, so until you get that straight, I can't fuck with you. And that's probably how all that came about. And it's just that the 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 fan frenzy and the over fandom from his demise in that fashion people actually saw him you know what i'm saying you seen the pictures of tupac in the car but people actually saw him get murdered so yeah. i believe that triggers a, a whole nother you know a whole nother emotion and a whole nother sense of you know, rage and uh, revenge. Yeah. Well, I'd heard people died after uh, after the Nipsey shooting. I'm sure they did. I, I can't confirm it, but I did hear a few different stories Neither of like I. cousins and like relatives and stuff like that got killed over mm -hmm. this. You know, houses getting shot up and so forth. But then again, a bunch of people died after Tupac's murder as well in Compton. You can believe war, that. War broke out. You can believe that. A bunch that. of murders happened. Oh yeah, you can believe that. It was a gang banging situation. Yeah, Southside versus uh, Ma Pyru. Uh, what's actually interesting is that I was offered to potentially do an interview with Eric Holder. Mm. But <laughs> I would have had to basically make a payment for this interview that would have posted his bail and allowed him to get out. And I was not gonna be the one responsible for that. Somebody probably would've came at you for that, Vlad. Probably. I mean, it wasn't really a conversation. I'm just saying, if it would've got out that that's what happened and yeah. you were behind that and, oh, he built this motherfucker out for an interview and oh, no, we, Vlad on the hit list. Right, yeah, you, you, Vlad, you Vlad's on the hit to, list. You debated to the hit list, Vlad. I was not gonna be the one that was going to get uh, Eric Holder out of prison. <laughs> salute he, he, could, he could stay in there. Sharp <laughs> salute. For I'll that, still bro. do the interview like over the phone or if I could somehow get cameras into the into the prison system. Mm -hmm. I, I will gladly do it. Because that, that, that's my job. Hear what he people had, are going to want to absolutely hear. people want to hear what he had to right. say. But I was not going to be the one that actually posted his bail. And it was like, I guess it was like a million dollar bail, but if I could come up with like a hundred thousand, that was going to be enough to, to make it whatever, or, or 50,000 or something. I'm like, well, number one, that number is not even a number that I could remotely swallow, you know, <laughs> pay. And even if I could, I wouldn't do it anyways. Right, right. So, right. so that interview never Take happened. Take out a second mortgage to yeah, do an no, interview I'm not, I'm not with doing, Eric. I'm not doing that. 